All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Charles of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And um, this one here is going to be a, a quick hit, maybe. But uh, Lord willing, uh, more important. Hopefully edifying. All right. Now, you know, brothers from time to time, you know, put the vibration out there to remind you that we shall always pray as the scriptures tell us, as Yahweh Shai tell us. All right. Pray without ceasing. You know, in everything we should pray. All right. There should not be any days, you know, going by and you have not made, you know, supplication with the Lord. You know, we're living in uh some the we're living in a very great time of evil. Okay. We're in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. And everything takes, you know, goes through seasons. As Ecclesiastes three and one, there's a time and purpose under the heavens. All right. And right now you can see that the stage is being set for some hard, rough times, you know. And uh the Lord foretold us these things. So really, there's no need that the Lord will have to write unto us, you know, because we know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. That's First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. So, you know, I've done this lesson before, but uh, this was in my spirit and I wanted to touch on some of these precepts again and uh, just hopefully to edify. So this is uh, Romans 12 and 12. It says rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer all right so rejoicing in hope what is our hope that's your how about shimei all right even though we see rough times and tough times coming but we have to rejoice because the lord told us that this is the end all right jacob is up next that follow all right when the end of esau fall jacob is up next that follow so we should be rejoicing all right knowing that the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth through Yahweh Shai. All right. This is what we've been looking for. This is what we've been waiting on. Ever since we came into the truth. Ever since the Lord woke us up back up. You know, took us from that Gentile frame of mind. All right. It says rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. Now we know the word patient means to suffer. So suffering in tribulations. Tribulation is going to come upon everyone. All right. But this is why. Us of the whole for elect, we seek mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so that when the times of tribulation come, the Lord make a way for us to escape. All right, fulfill the prophecies of Psalms 91, Job the fifth chapter, Isaiah 65, 11 on down. You know, to eat during the famine, you know, to drink and be merry when the wicked's being destroyed. So patient in tribulation, you know, things that get rough before the anarchy and lawlessness starts, you know, knowing that you can't work at this job or go into this supermarket because you don't have a vaccine, you don't have the shot, you don't have that jab, you know, you don't have uh, this chip. So tribulation is going to come. It says continuing instant in prayer. So we have the instant well, let's say continue instant in prayer, you know, and from time to time, I like to say, you know, and share with brothers. If you haven't heard before, because I know I did this show before like this on this topic and, um, you know, you don't want to uh, uh, cat. You don't want to quench the spirit, you know, whenever you get the thoughts of praying, when the thoughts of praying, which the angels whisper in your ear to pray. To make supplication to the Lord and to have that conversation, you want to stop everything and do it. All right. You know, you can do it in your mind. You can meditate, you know, you know, go in the four corners in your private area and meditate if you want. Put up the Hebrew prayers, which are more powerful because of the force of the tongue. Okay. But even in your English and the language you speak, the Lord understands you. All right. So continue an instant in prayer. All right. Um, it says verse first Thessalonians five and sixteen. It says rejoice evermore, 
praying without ceasing. So there should be no end of praying. All right. As long as we here in Babylon and any sinful flesh. All right. We're, we're in sickness. All right. And we need a healer. OK, a person that's sick is always going to cry out. OK, a person that need a healer and that's hurt, you know, broken with a contrite heart is always going to cry out. All right. So pray without ceasing. It says in everything, give thanks for this is the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah Mashiach concerning you. So remember to give thanks of everything that you have, you know, be thankful. Be thankful for the clothes on your back. Be thankful for the food that you can eat. Okay? Be thankful that you have a free spirit. You know, be thankful that, you know, uh, the Lord brought you into this truth. He called you, you know, and you're a part of the ministry, you know, because that's the step, you know, in being of the chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. All right. Now the chosen is going to be called. But he that endured to the end, you know, will officially be the chosen. So, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai concerning you. Quench not the spirit. All right. Now there it go. Quench not the spirit. Like I said before, you know, you don't want to push off the spirit whenever the spirit is telling you to pray. You know, I like to do that. This came to me a while ago, years ago, you know, because what will happen is you be having the thoughts to pray and you'll push it off. You know, you'll say, well, wait till I go on break or, you know, wait till I get home. You know, I'm going to wait till I uh, get in my car. Nah, you know, because just like that, Satan can uh, distract you. And guess what? You done got in your car and you said that's what that's when you was going to pray because you was going to be by yourself. And then you started driving and something came up, something distracted you. And then hours go by and you realize, oh, shit, you know, so don't quench the spirit. You know, you can't quench the spirit when brothers in the spirit, when we together, when the word of the Lord is coming out. So don't quench the spirit when the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit is there. All right. The angels are there from the Lord, you know, telling you to make supplication, make that conversation. All right. So quench not the spirit. It says despise not prophesizing. You got a lot of Israelite camps who don't prophesize. You know, they teach. You know, they can teach, tell you, you know, show you that, you know, you're an Israelite from the seed of your father. All right. But they're not prophesizing. So we're not to despise the prophesizing. A lot of guys don't want to prophesy because they're afraid that they'll be made a liar later, you know. But guess what? We got faith in Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. We have faith in his word. And we're not prophesizing of, of, of the things that we may we 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 can make up. No. We're prophesizing the word of Yahweh. Okay, we have a full insurance of faith and belief in his word. Okay, these prophecies are faithful and true. You can see it now. If you haven't seen it before, you can clearly see the prophecies popping like popcorn right now, man. Everything that the scriptures speak about of toward the end is all gearing in that direction. You know, signs, earthquakes in diverse places, rumors of wars, the chariots, man. Um, the, the way that this chip is rolling out, which is going to end up being the neck, the, the, the main source of eliminating this. COVID vaccine pandemic. All right. You can see it paving out, man. How about Shemel Shah is doing it? The end is manifesting. So it says, verse 21 Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all absence of evil, and the very power of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, Yahweh, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless. Unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. All right. So you're supposed to not only just pray for yourself, you pray for your family. Pray for the brotherhood, man. All right. The brotherhood is your real family. Pray for the apostles. Pray for the, 
you know, the men that are over you. Pray for the men that are under you, okay? Pray for the, the new fruit that's coming in to remain uh, strong in the faith, all right? You women out there that watch, pray for the brothers. Pray for the apostles. Pray for the men. That's the head of the ministry, all right? Without these men, you're not, you're not getting to the kingdom, okay? So you got to pray. Philippians 4 and 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, give things, uh, excuse me, and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known unto the Most High. All right. Now, there's a precept coming in mind. Scripture say you receive not because you ask not. All right. So you have to make your requests known to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, you should never have, um, the words, you know, you should never fix, fix your work. You should never have the thoughts of, you know, fixing your words together to say, I don't know what I should pray for. All right. Because there's plenty of things to be praying for. And I mean, every day. All right. So be careful for nothing. If there's anything you need, you know, you're supposed to be praying for spiritual things, but we all needy. So you always need something. You know, it's another thing too, man. Whenever the Lord allow you to have a smooth, uh, let's say a smooth going, so to say at the time, and you're happy, you know, you're rejoicing, you know, you feel like everything is going, going accordingly, you know, everything is working well, then you even supposed to pray more. Pray that, you know, that the Lord continues to keep you in that joyful uh, spirit all right because we know that you know you have your moments you have the way everything's cool and then everything's go bad you know but don't forget when you're up pray just as well as when you're down you pray it says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication now let's just um let's just see what supplication mean quick group well, quick, quick definition search. It says a supplication is a prayer to Yahweh or a respectful request to someone in authority for help. You see, and we always need help when we're, we're in captivity, we're in captivity. All right. And this devil is about to come down like a roaring lion. OK, the scriptures say um, he cometh down having great. The devil cometh down having great wrath. Because he know that he had but a short time. All right. I believe they're going to roll out the uh, force of the vaccine. Probably uh, 21. Maybe just the maybe end of this year, 2020. All right. With the military. And um, if not going house to house, you know, they're going to change the system. All right. The image of the beast to the point where. You won't be able to buy or sell unless you had, you know, that chip, you know, or that vaccine, you know, so things going to get rough. So a supplication is a prayer to Yahweh or a respectful request, respectful request to someone in authority for help. Uh, all right. So it says, uh, be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto Yahweh. All right, so this is Ephesians 6 and 19. Above all, taking the shield of faith, therewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So what is the shield of faith? That's the, that's the word. It says, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So you know that. You know, the wicked, he's going to shoot these fiery darts at you. He's going to sting you, man. He's going to pierce you. He's going to hurt you. How are we able to quench it? Through the shield of faith. All right. If you are strong in your faith toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, you won't fall victim, you know, to a wicked man or woman. All right. Even if you do catch a, a L, it's a W at the end of the day. All right, because it becomes, you know, uh, uh, strength. Okay, 
You know, it's just as well as, you know, when you fall and you was a kid and you may scrape your leg up, you crying because you see white meat, you know what I'm saying, and start bleeding. But then what? Your skin grows back stronger by the scab, by the melanin in your skin and it transform into a scab. And now your skin is a lot tougher. You get that thick skin, you know. It says, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all uh, perseverance, perseverance, excuse me, with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. All right. So we're praying. Okay. With all supplication in the spirit, it says, and watching thereunto with all perseverance. All right, so let's see this word. Perseverance. Perseverance is the quality of continuing with something even though it is difficult. You see that? The qual it says is the quality of continuing with with something even though it is difficult so this truth is not an easy road it, it gets difficult that's why in uh what's that sirach the second chapter he says my son if thou come to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation all right because you're going to go through uh some difficult times all right so watching thereunto with all perseverance it's supplication for all saints, which are all Israelites. And in our case, all the elect. It says, and for me, that uttereth may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel. All right. And the men of the Lord, they open their mouth boldly and make known the mysteries of the gospel as Apostle Paul is speaking. All right. Because we have what? A hundred percent truth. Okay. It's not we're not ashamed of Yahweh Shai. We're not ashamed of his gospel and his teachings. Okay, we believe. All right. Uh Matthew 6 and 6. But thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. All right. So when you pray, you're supposed to pray in secret. All right. You know, and you also supposed to pray with your hands out. Not hands folded together the way Esau teaches you. It says, but when ye pray, use not rain, vain repetition as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. You know, you don't have to say the words, say the same words over and over. The Lord, un the Lord knows what you're praying for before you pray for it anyway. All right. Also, praying shows a form of humble, uh, uh, humbleness, you know. It's not a it's, when you pray, that's not a, a, a that's not a proud uh, spirit. That is a humble spirit. All right. And, you know, to come to be in this truth, you have to be humble. You know, the proud never prays. All right. They think they hold their own destiny in their own hand. It says, um, be not ye therefore like unto them for your father know of what things ye have need of before ye ask him. See. All right. It says, after this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever to walk. All right. And that's Yahweh Shai speaking to uh, show you what you should pray for. All right. Your daily bread. Forgive uh, of your debts and also forgive. Uh, excuse me, forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors because we're in debt to the Most High. Remember the scriptures say it was our mind to go astray, but seek him 10 times more. All right. So there's really no, no excuse. You know, I like to say, you know, if you're not praying, then you're comfortable. And if you're comfortable, you know, that's a bad thing. All right. You know, most of the times you stop praying is because you're comfortable. You're getting everything that you want. You know, you're not looking in at the Lord, you're not looking toward the Lord. The Lord is not in your thoughts because 
you know, you you have you have you have it. You have, you receive in constellation. You know, so always pray. All right. It says um uh Colossians 4 and 2, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving, uh with with who praying always for us that Yahweh would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mysteries of Yahweh Shai, for which I am also in bonds. It says that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Romans 8 and 26, likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings, which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of Yahweh. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh, to them who are called according to his purpose. So everything works for the good to the Lord's elect. Okay, to them. Um, it says, uh, and we know all and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh. To them that are called according to his purpose. All right. Uh, Matthew 21 and 21. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed. And be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. All right. So Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Shai is saying, if you have faith and doubt not, you can't have doubt and faith at the same time. You either have one or the other. All right. And we have faith. Okay. Cause doubting, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a lack of faith. Okay. It says, ye shall not only do this, which is done to the fig tree. All right. Cause remember Yahweh Shai in the parable, the account where he, you know, uh, not the parable, the account where he, um, uh, he destroyed the fig tree because it didn't give any figs. Right. And that's how was symbolic, you know, to the, to the men of the Lord that, you know, if you, you have to go out and multiply this, his work, you know, you have to, uh, push this truth to bring forth more fruit. We got to be like a tree planted by, by the river. All right. Constantly growing, constantly being watered, you know, so that when Yahweh Shai do come and he checks up on us and he is examining our tree, He's able to pluck from it and eat. All right. So we want to be, you know, and you have to pray. You have to pray uh, for the Lord to have, you know, this spirit. You know, if you have the elect, you know, you know, you're going to be of this spirit, man. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. All right. Some things you got to pray for. All right. Everything is not given. Some things you just got to pray for. All right. And you got to believe. It says, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, okay, be thou removed, you know, you know, in the word in the mirror, mountain represents governments, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. And right now, while the Lord raised up the prophets, okay, standing upon their feet with the with the book open to the firmament, okay, you can clearly see that this this government, this mountain. Is being removed. All right. This mountain, this government, which is Esau's, the highest government, the elites, the Rothschilds who call the shots, pull the strings around the world. That's really right now driving us into this new world order, this new way of living where everyone will be a transhuman. The, the Lord is. The Lord is destroying this mountain. OK. He's exposing this mountain, all right, and it's going to be removed. 
It says, and be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. It says, in all things whatsoever ye ask, in prayer, believing ye shall receive. So whatever we ask for in prayer, we're going to receive. All right. And this is our promise. The promise of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, his word, his gospel of the kingdom coming to the Israelites, in particular the elect first. All right. So hopefully, I hope this lesson was edifying. Always pray. You know, stay in spirit. You know, you want that, uh, you know, his spirit to be with you, man. If you're not praying, you're comfortable. And if you're comfortable, that's a bad thing. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the Lord's elect. Shalom.